Hey, this is Roger Johnson from PRW, Sunday after Martinsville. It's my wife, Kristen. Got home Hi. about two in the morning. Took our kid to lacrosse, back up to the shop, trying to get things done. On this Sunday, uh, gonna bring in an interview, Brian Hall from AR Bodies. He uh, talks about what their answer is to five stars, new Gen 6 body. Kinda pretty interesting what he says here. Check it out, something uh, we had to record a couple times because I'm not a producer, so I messed the whole thing up the first time. <laughs> but we'll drop this for you, I hope you guys like it, and uh, check us out. Congratulations, Josh Berry, Wynn and Martinsville. Uh, Thankfully, uh, one of my cars took a wild ride. Thanks everybody to be safe. I'm glad the car held up good. Thanks to my guys in here, Fox, Zach, Greg Marlowe. Um, got some big things coming. I think people will be interested. Check us out. Thank you. Bye. See ya. So I've got Brian Hall from AR Bodies here. I think a lot of people are interested in uh, this big weekend. It's the uh, Sunday after Martinsville. AR Body won uh, won the race. That's something we'd like to congratulate them on. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Josh and his team they had a had an awesome run. Yeah, they the, did. Totally dominated. Whew, totally. Oh, good and, and, and good for him. Yeah. I know a lot of people. I've caught a lot of grief actually for he and I. I like him. I mean, I just, how do you, how do you not like the guy, right? Like, there's a lot of people that don't. I'll catch more. Thank you. I'm cool with that. But, <laughs> like, I, he just, he's just, he's, he's very good. I mean, he works hard at his craft. He's, he's, he doesn't give up. He keeps his head down and keeps going. I, I appreciate it. So, tell us big news this weekend with the Gen 6 five star. We got the man here to answer all the questions about the inverse, right? The complete opposite, the AR. Um, Give us what you got. People are interested. People are interested in price. I had a lot of good talks with a lot of people this weekend, which I'm sure you did too. Um, people want info. First of all, before I pitch the whole thing to you, I want to thank you for coming. Um, I'm, thank, I'm, thanks for inviting us, I'm, Roger. I've, I've been pounding them. I'm going to pound them. I'm going to get you guys more content. I want, I want AR to, I want AR to, uh, to start doing some things out there so that you guys, so you don't have to call me and yell about what's happening. You, you can hit him right up on Facebook. I'm going to put his Facebook in the description, and you can hit him right up on Facebook. You ain't got to call and yell at me. It's going to be a really good time. So give us some of the juice. Give us some of what we want to know, what we're after. Well, NASCAR has asked us to design our version of this Gen 6 Lake Mall stop body. Uh, I'm proud to tell you here today that we are currently working on that. Um, the owner of the company, uh, Mr. Jerry Criswell, at the time NASCAR had asked us to do this, he had some health issues. And that did put us a little bit behind where we honestly want to be right now. Sure. Um, with that being said, we are working on the car. I think uh, from it, some very exciting news to the racers, uh, everybody was uh, very upbeat about what I was telling them. And here's the deal. We are planning to use the existing greenhouse, the windshield base, and the deck filler in our design. Um, it, it will have the Gen 6 look totally. Um, it's, it was the most racer friendly as I'll, I'll use that term if I can sure. option that we could do, uh, simply for the racers. Um, I, I, just a minute to give some insight, uh, Mr. Chris, well, he's been involved in racing basically his whole life. Uh, in, in different points. We're talking about Jerry. Yes. Just so people yes. know, we're talking about yes. Jerry. He's the owner of uh, of AR Bodies. He's been there 30, 30 some years, I think. I think right? 1981 okay. when he went in business. All right. Um, Not many people see him at the racetrack. So I want to I want to let other people know that this is the guy that you talk to when you want to know about parts, when you want to know about bodies, when you know if do I have an a ABC body or a late model stock car body. But uh, Jerry is the owner of the company. Yes, sir. Sorry yes, to interrupt. Sir. Go ahead. Um, he has been in all different aspects of racing from 
uh, owning cars to a local short track to uh, being involved with the ARCA series at Super Speedways. Um, one of the gentlemen that work in our fab shop, he used to work on Bobby Hamilton's truck team. Um, my graphics guy, he and his father race a baby grand there at home local. Nice. So with that being said, we are racers. Sure. We are racers. We look at it from a racing standpoint that, you know, we have got to do something to help the racer. Sure. And this, uh, this was the, the biggest thing we could come up with to do that. Um, what it does is the simple fact that most teams can install a reskin kit and cut a hood. Most teams can pull I, that off. Yeah. And, and if they don't, they generally have a friend that's, that's kind of floating around that can help them. Somebody. Uh, and, and, and not to knock your business no. anyway, Roger, I, or anybody else. You know me, I, I'm completely 100% transparent with everybody. Whatever you want to know, I tell you. But that, the plan that we have in place versus having to mount a complete body most teams can't do that. Sure. Most teams would have to take that to someone such as yourself. Mm -hmm. And we look at that as a cost-saving measure for the racer as well. Okay. And, and, and that, that measure. So what, what, you're, you're, what you're alluding to is the greenhouse will be the same. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, it will just be a complete reskin kit, correct? Basically a reskin kit, a hood, and a deck lid. A hood and a deck lid. Yes, so. Sir. We're, we definitely know that most people can fit the deck lid, right? It's yes. a couple holes drilled in with, <laughs> with some scuff plates. The hood is a problem because we do need to fit it, right? It's yes. not a problem, but we yes. we got to cut it no matter what. Yeah. So is that going to still be available? You're still going to do the same thing like a, maybe a lightweight version and a regular version, or are you just going to try to go with one, or what? do you guys have a plan there? From what I've seen of our competition, I do, I do think that they released the deal that they have a lightweight version. Yes, from as, what I saw. Well. Yes. And, and yes, I mean. We, so we you're going to try to keep it as apples to apples yes. as you can get from, yes. from what they've come with to what they've come with. Interesting. Okay. Do you, do you have any kind of a, do you have any kind of a price point that you believe this is going to be? And I don't want to get you boxed in too much of a corner because we know, right, we already know that. There's a lot of engineering cost, and we know there's things that go along with it. And and, and I spoke with with Five Star about that too. You know, they they spoke about they they had a, a decent amount of cost in it. So I, I don't want people to. That's one thing I don't want people to get hung up with your thing is it's this is going to cost our body some money, right? Like so, at a certain point, we want to keep our bodies around. Well, we got to keep, you know what I mean? Keep patronizing. As as far as a final cost on the deal, mm -hmm. um, I don't. I mean, I obviously don't have that sure, today, sure, Roger. Sure. I, I don't know whether there will be an increase. Sure. I don't know that. There is a ton of, of variables in the point that, um, and you and I alluded to this uh, Thursday when we talked. Sure. Um, metal, the, <laughs> any material, any material that you're dealing with nowadays, uh, it seems like every shipment or every other shipment, it does go up. Right. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, there comes a time to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I can't sit here and say sure. one way or the other right now. So, you know, I, I just I simply won't go there right now. Do you guys have a timeline that you're shooting for? I know um, I know that's been something that's been asked to me quite a bit about what you guys have going on. So is it is there is it do you have a goal in mind? Does the company have a date in mind? As of right now, Roger, in in. I told all the guys that I spoke with at Martinsville, and I talked to a ton of people up there. Everybody was, you know, very upbeat about going about this this way. Um, the fact of a timeline, uh, I alluded earlier to the health issues with Jerry. Sure. That did set us back. Sure. Um, there's th this approval process thing. I've never seen this personally. The The body that we have now in Lake Model Stock, uh, it was approved before I came an employee at AR. I got you. Um, I've never seen any of this. There, I mean, there's a lot of variables. You know, it, it could be one of those things that you're asked to change this or change that. Mm -hmm. And right now what I'm going to do is ask all of our customers for their patience. 
Um, we are working feverishly to get this get this done as soon as it can be. Mm -hmm. uh, to to get it to the racetrack, to get it to a realization, get the approval process done. Um, I, I mean, that's you know that's all I can do at this point. One more thing, I, and I, I I'm out of order with some of it, but I'm. I still think it needs to be talked about, and I want people to remember. I want it. I want to talk about the fire that AR had years ago. Mm -hmm. I think it was an important thing. It was an important thing in my history for owning Performance Center. Just uh, at that point, I think I just started, just started um, buying things from you and, and selling AR's product. As, uh, we started, we took on the Marlowe brand, mm -hmm. and it was a big problem. I mean, like, it almost shook you to your core at that point, right? Like, I, I don't think people know that backstory. It would have been very easily to shut the door and not open it back up. What year was that? It was in 2011. 2011. Everything burned up. The, the All of our fiberglass facility, all of our molds, the buildings totally, totally destroyed. Totally leveled. I remember it was bad. Um uh, it, it honestly turned out to be a blessing for our company in the sense of employees coming together. The the amount of tooling and the amount of molds that those guys made in a short period of time was just astonishing. It's awesome. Honestly, I mean, it was astonishing. You know, that is good stuff. Uh, we we were able to structure some stuff different. Uh, it, it just it simply streamlined and and made you know we we ended up from what looked like could be totally catastrophic um it it came back and and it 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 was a big it was a big blessing and a big big benefit if that can even be believed sure sure i'm sure i just i i I don't think a lot of people realize that you had to kind of completely start over as a corp company, you know, um, just at least on the late mile stock car side and the fiberglass side and whatever. There's you guys do many things, but um, I, that you know that was a big for many people that have come on the scene late. They don't know all the backstory of all the things that went on. A lot of people that are just our fans or late mile stock car customers, they don't know about your ABC. I mean, you guys do quite a bit ABC. Yes, we're uh, we're one of two manufacturers that, that are part of the ABC program. Um, you know that body is fitted for uh, super asphalt, super late model racing, and and pro late model racing that that uses the crate engine in the pro side. Um, it's it's got a little bit bigger shelf on the right side. Uh, they share the the same nose. Uh, you know, there's there's similarities looking at the cars. But they're, you know, between a late mile stock car and a and an ABC body, there's, there's a lot of difference. A lot of differences. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. I'm, I'm uh, congratulations on your Martinsville. Yeah, those uh, those guys done done one more of an awesome. Yeah, job. it's a great great thing. I know they use their product and have for a lot of years. Um, I I thank you for coming by. I'm, I'm, we've kind of had some silence from AR in the last little bit, and I'm doing my best to break all the silence from everybody and and i know you you know got it late and i i stole another hour of your day <laughs> well, for I, you to get you to swing back by but i want you to know that i i so much appreciate it well i i appreciate you first reaching out to us on this deal um quite frankly you can get into the everyday grind if for you sure will, yeah and and you can kind of get sidetracked and you kind of woke me up as to you know, we need to get this out there. Right. And, and, and it was time. And I'm and tired of getting is. yelled at. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Gotcha. But, uh, you know, uh, I'd like to say to, you know, again, to our racers, uh, our customers out there, uh, I'd like to ask you for your patience in this deal. Uh, I know the other product is supposed to be available this coming week. Um, I, I'm not there yet. I'm not going to set a date as of right now, and, and we alluded to that earlier. Um, there's just there's simply too many variables. When we get to a point that we can set a date, I'll be more than glad to share that with everybody. That's great. That's great. Well, once again, Brian Hall from AR Bodies. I'm going to put all his information, so let's we'll blow his friend requests up, <laughs> and uh, we'll see what we can get accomplished. Reach out to him. 
if you have questions about things that are happening, I, I try to connect you guys as much as possible to try to make sure that people know that they are, there is some help yes. and that, that they can call and talk to a live person and, and get live help. And, and I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you again, Roger, for, for, you know, giving me that little shake to say, hey, it, I it's shake time everybody. to do this. I'm a and, goofball. I, I just uh, think I got to wake everybody and leave my stock up. We got to go. Well, this is, uh, you know, there's some exciting times coming down the pike there, from AR. I, I can promise that. The the car, it's it's going, <laughs> it's it, it's looking spectacular right now. That's good. That's uh, good. Well, I appreciate you coming by. Thank you, everybody, for turning in. And uh, Brian Hall, we'll leave him in the comments. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me, Rod. Anytime, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you.